I remember uh, I was without an MCM for a while and the videos that were claimed, so they were probably my, my uh, Metallica covers and things like that, mm -hmm. you know, which I fully expected them to be claimed. But essentially, uh, they were still monetized. They were claimed by, the audio was claimed by whoever owns the right. It's not Metallica, by the way, um, whoever owned <laughs> the right. And then, but the video assets were still mine. So I was still actually getting revenue from just the video composition. Well, uh, this is actually a little different. So if you check those claims, they probably said for uh, the composition because the recording was also yours. You did yes, the recording, you didn't yes. do the backing track. And so this is essentially how licensing should work. Yeah. If you do a cover where you did all the recording, you pay the licensing fee for the composition, which you didn't write, but you get comp you get to share revenue for the fact that it's your audio recording and it's your video. Yeah. That's ideal. We should have that for every single song. That would be perfect. Unfortunately, hey, but... no, go ahead, go ahead. Like uh, so, so like you mentioned, you get to share revenue, and we okay, we have to you know assume maybe Metallica's like uh, that's their rights manager, right, and that they're actually getting the money. Hopefully, it's not just some random person. Um, if that's happening, then you know you make your money, they make their money through you know their rights manager. Everyone gets paid. That's how it should be. Um, but most video game uh, music is not in the system for yeah, that. So, yeah. yeah. And also, different rights holders don't have to agree to that. So that's an option they can choose. They can choose to share revenue, but they can also choose to block your video in some or all countries. They can choose to take all the, the revenue. Yeah. They could choose a lot of different things. And so the ideal is they match your video, they let you sh share some of the revenue, but we're... Yeah, that, that was that, that was going to be my point about the video games, uh, because essentially it, it worked it, it worked like that, at least for me and for the few songs I had, it worked like that, where the, the, the video composition and... or the videos was mine, and but the, the composition song was, was theirs. But obviously for a video game, it doesn't quite work like that because very often the rights are, I don't know, nowhere. <laughs> you know, one of the reasons that people don't claim them is because they first can't find them or nobody mm -hmm. really knows where the rights are. Right. <clears throat> or they can't be bothered. It's just uh, it's too much money for them up front to, uh, to set up something like that. But um, uh, yeah, the... the uh, the, the, what was going uh, I was going to say was that uh, with an MCM, all that is actually out the window because when it gets claimed, it just gets claimed. That's all you get, and the video is off monetizing. That's that's that. So they don't even have that set up in place. Um, that's unfortunate. Yeah, it, it really is. Um, and I think MCM maybe should start offering something back to uh, <laughs> to. Um, to youtubers i i have an mcm for the simple reason that it's just it's more convenient for me and uh and i'm on a 90 90 percent share you know so okay. it's not too bad